In this video, we'll look at a particular class of second order ODEs, uh, which is usually called uh, an ODE with constant coefficients. So a second order ODE has at most a uh, second derivative of your function of interest. And if it has constant coefficients, then each one of these terms is multiplied by a constant. It can be a function of x or of y. And in general, this could be uh, a non-homogeneous equation. So it can have a term f of x, which is not equal to zero. And this is uh, important terminology that we'll need. So if f of x is equal to zero, then we have what's called a homogeneous equation. If f of x is not equal to zero, then we have a non-homogeneous equation. And we need to differentiate between these two cases because the general solution to this equation has two parts. Y of x, it has what's called the complementary solution, which is the solution to this differential equation uh, when f of x is equal to zero. So it's the solution to the homogeneous equation. And you have the particular solution. And this is a solution to a differential equation when f of x is not equal to zero or when you have a non-homogeneous equation. So to get the complete solution of our differential equation, you need to find both parts the complementary and the particular. In this video, we'll uh, look at a general method for finding the complementary solution. And then the next video, we'll look at how we can find the particular solution of this equation. But to find a complementary solution, which means in general, you wanna find the solution to this equation. So when f of x is equal to zero. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to make an educated guess as to what form our solution y can have. And you need to think of a function that when you take the derivative, it's equal to itself times a constant. And a popular function that satisfies that condition is the exponential. In general, we'll give it some constant here, e to the power of another constant times x. And the reason for that is because when you take, for example, the first derivative, you get this, taking the first derivative of this, which is equal to the same function times a constant, which is what you have over here. If you take the second derivative, then you get this, which is a constant times the same original function, which is what you'd expect to have in this term over here.
And when you, when you guess a solution of this form, that transforms this differential equation into something like that. So taking the second derivative, you have the lambda squared y, lambda squared, and you factor out the y, and you're left with your coefficient a2, and similarly for the other terms. And in the case we're looking at, for the homogeneous equation, this has to be equal to zero. Now there's two ways that this equation can be satisfied. You can either have y of x is equal to zero for all x. In other words, nothing happens. So this is a completely uninteresting solution. So we're not going to consider this case because it just, it just says that nothing happens in your solution. The other way that this equation can be satisfied is if this term over here is equal to zero and this is called the auxiliary uh, auxiliary equation. So we need to find the roots of this equation, of the auxiliary equation. And once we have that, then we have a general solution because we know the values of lambda and we have the general form of y. So our job now is to solve the auxiliary equation. In other words, to find values lambda one and lambda two that satisfy this equation. And then that will give us the general form of our complementary solution. So we would have found the values of lambda to plug in there. There's three general cases that are of interest to us. So three cases. So we can have that the roots of the auxiliary equation are distinct. In other words, you have two different values for lambda, in which case the complementary solution is generally given as a linear combination of these two terms. The second case is the roots of the auxiliary equation are complex. So you can have lambda one and two in general have some real component plus or minus an imaginary component. So lambda one will be for example, alpha plus I beta and lambda two would be alpha minus I beta. In that case, the general form of our complementary solution is again a linear combination, but now in general, it can have complex exponentials. And the third case is that the roots of the auxiliary equation are degenerate, which means that they're equal to one another. They're not distinct. And in that case, your complementary solution has the following form. Where uh, lambda is equal to lambda one, which is equal to lambda two. 
Right, so these are the three possible cases that we can have when we have a second order differential equation with constant coefficients and we're looking for the complementary solution or the solution to the homogeneous equation. So we'll see an example in a later video, but in general, you wanna solve your auxiliary equation and see which case uh, you fall into. In the next video, we'll see how we can find the particular solution, so the solution to the non-homogeneous differential equation. And it'll involve using uh, the method of undetermined coefficients.